Hello guys. We're about five miles from Stanley, Idaho. Uh, it's one of these places I was going on my trip here when I went to Missoula to pick up this bike right here. And uh, that is a BMW S1000RR. I got the best of both worlds here now. Uh, we've got a dirt bike, top of the line dirt bike, and a top, of the fastest production bike made. A BMW S1000RR. And it's very easy to unload it. Loading it is a little bit trickier, but uh, no big deal, I'll get used to it. I mean, I, I rode it on the trailer, and I can do that right here too, as long as you got nice packed dirt or asphalt. This is asphalt. Um, we got a nice little overlook area here. Uh, I'm gonna stay here tonight, even though I'm not camping, just in case law enforcement shows up. <laughs> I'm not camping, I'm just, I'm uh, resting so and I won't it won't look like I'm camping I'm not gonna have a tent set up or a trailer set up or all my gear out <laughs> so uh, we're just gonna take a rest right here like I said we're about five miles from Stanley I'm gonna I'll probably unload the bike and take a ride into town I don't know for sure I might might not we got all the official logistics on on tying the bike down these straps you know what I need to do is cut those straps uh, that length you know what I'm saying the, cut the tail off because having to tie the tail up all the time on the strap is kind of a piece of bullshit to do so uh, we're gonna cut these straps will always be used for this bike I will I was gonna try to get a new set of straps so uh, what you want to do is have those things all set up marked so you know where they go you know how to do it and it's very quick and easy to throw your bike on the trailer and strap it up Anyways, what we are going to do tonight, we are going to set up our grill. We're going to have we're going to have half pound cheeseburgers for dinner. I'm only going to eat one, but I'll have the other one tomorrow for lunch. And uh, I wanted to show you my water heater out here. We've been this whole ride. We had a river right next to us, and right here we don't have a river, so. I need about three gallons to wash my hair and wash my body. So it's heating up right for me right there. As soon as the sun gets close to the mountains, I'll take a bath. I got my swimsuit here. I got my bar of soap. And trust me, when I get done, I am gonna feel like a million bucks. Let me see here, we got our swimsuit. I'm gonna air dry, that's just a towel just for show. We've got our gear there. We're gonna take a nice hot bath in the, in the sun here get my hair washed you know and then I'll be good for we're going on four days without a bath <laughs> I'm pretty ripe don't get downwind to me <laughs> we, we can't we put on uh, deodorant and shit now I got deodorant with me and uh, I've got uh, eternity spray for men so if you're ever around me and I smell like a bottle of perfume that's covering up something when I'm camping <laughs> When I'm at home, I'm clean, but when I'm camping, it's like, you're covering up something. Yes, I am. Anyways, I got a chance to put the cowboy head back on. We've got a beautiful helmet for the bike, a uh, beautiful tank bag for the bike. I can carry all my gear. I can carry my full leather jacket with a spider bungee on top of the uh, tank bag. I'm going to make this kind of short, like six minutes or eight minutes max, but I do have a... This is a tank bag, and that spider bungee on the top is ex is, is stretchable, so you can put your uh, a full size um, jacket under there, leather jacket. I've got a Harley jacket I'm going to use when I ride this bike. It'd be probably nice to have it tonight because if I take a ride into Stanley, which I'm probably talking shit right now because I'm just going to eat and <laughs> drink some beers, and and don't keep any empty bottles around you. You know, I hid the bottles. I'm not going to leave them there. I'm going to take them with me when I leave. But in case law enforcement comes, because this is only a lookout area, and they might come in here and say, hey, can't camp here. And I'll say, well, I'm not camping. <laughs> so, long story short. You know, you got to do, this is a nice spot, nice lookout area, close to Stanley. You know, uh, I can unload the bike here. I can 
we'll go down this trail right here and ride the dirt bike. And there's 10 more trails this way and another 10 this way. I'd have to drive my dirt bike on the road for a few miles and, and find a nice trail to ride if I want to. But you can see the view here is beautiful. That's why this is an outlook area. You got to, I don't know what mountain range that is. Uh, what the hell range would that be? I'm gonna have to do my math on that. And I did want to also add a correction factor that was not Hell's Canyon that I was in last night. I thought it was because I seen Hell's Canyon tour rafting company there, but they're just there. They drive over the mountain into uh, uh, the next canyon, which is Hell's Canyon. But uh, Riggins, very nice little town. I'll tell you, when the day comes, when I'm all done, I might drive into that town. Because one day, I am going to sell everything. I'm going to sell my house. And uh, I'm probably going to get a small toy hauler trailer so I can take my toys with me. And we are going to get a place like that, camp in a place like that, you can probably pay 300 I didn't ask that. I talked to some dudes that were staying at an RV park there. It gets to be about 20 degrees in the winter there. You know what I'm saying? You can probably have 30 degrees during the day, you know, in the teens at night. No big deal. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but you might, I might do that. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's a town that I've got on my radar sheet. There's not much to it. It's just a little old town with a couple of bars in it, a couple of cafes. Uh, I can make that work. A, a, a grocery store, uh, pretty re very reasonable prices, just like your normal store anywhere else. You know, it's not ballooned up. And uh, it's just a nice area. There's nice riding there on your bikes, motorcycles, a lot of dirt bike riding. You know, one day when it's all said and done, I might end up there. I was <laughs> bullshitting with an old guy that lives there. He sold his 30 acres. He sold his, uh, he sold his uh, 30 acre house in the middle of nowhere. And now he's renting, he sold everything because he's up there in the years. I don't know how old he is, maybe 70 ish, but he's up there in the years. And what he did is he sold everything and bought, he's just renting a house there for 600 bucks a month. He's got the whole house to himself him and his wife and um you know it works out pretty good for him you know 600 bucks is cheap man so if, even if you don't fucking get an uh a, a suv or our trailer toy hauler you know what i'm saying you can always do let me see if this this bathroom is open yep it is you can always uh get a go move all your shit up there and uh get a a rental get a house rent a house up there be a happy camper, internet, you know, small street. Very nice, man. Maybe I should be telling you about it. Anyway, we are going to take a bath. I'm drinking a beer right now. I'm going to have another one. We're going to set up our grill here. We don't want to make it look too homely just yet. As far as setting up my grill, and just in case somebody comes by and says, Hey, you can't camp here. I ain't camping. I'm just resting. I almost got in a car accident five miles down the road. I'm fatigued. I'm, I got to take some rest. At a rest stop in, in Idaho, you can stay there for 16 hours before you have to move on. The last rest stop that I stayed at.